You're probably using Claude for basic chats and maybe some coding help. But if that's all you're doing, you're missing out on what might be the biggest AI productivity breakthrough of 2025. I've spent the last few days diving deep into agent skills since Anthropic just dropped them, analyzing the technical documentation and running through every example I could find. And here's what shocked me. This isn't just another AI feature update. It's fundamentally changing how AI agents work, and most people don't even know it exists yet. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. So in this video, I'll break down exactly what agent skills are, show you how they're already helping companies like Rakuten slash their workload from days to hours, and reveal why this approach is completely different from what OpenAI and Google are doing. We'll explore the examples Anthropic has shared, dive into the architecture that makes this possible, and I'll show you how to start using skills yourself. First up, let's understand what agent skills actually are, because once you see this in action, you'll never use AI the same way again. What agent skills really are. Imagine having an AI assistant that comes with a built-in manual for each task. That's essentially what Anthropic just delivered with agent skills. But here's where it gets interesting. These aren't just prompts or templates. Each skill is like a folder of expertise that Claude can load on demand, containing everything from step-by-step -step instructions to actual executable code. Think of it this way. Normally, when you ask Claude to help with something complex, like processing a PDF or creating a PowerPoint, you'd have to explain exactly what you want every single time. With agent skills, it's like Claude suddenly has an onboarding guide for that specific task. The model discovers what skills are available, loads the relevant one, and gains new capabilities without you having to write a novel length prompt. What makes this particularly powerful is that a skill can pack everything. Company guidelines, code tools, data schemas, essentially turning Claude from a generalist into a specialist for whatever domain you need. And unlike traditional plugins that just add API connections, skills include actual executable scripts. So when Claude needs to extract data from a PDF, it doesn't guess or hallucinate. It runs real code and gets exact results. The key characteristics that make skills special? They're composable, meaning Claude can automatically identify and orchestrate multiple skills together. They're portable, working everywhere. Claude.ai, Claude Code, even through the API. They're efficient, using something called progressive loading that I'll explain in a moment. And they're powerful, combining language understanding with actual code execution. The genius architecture behind agent skills. Now, this is where things get really clever, and understanding this will help you see why skills are such a breakthrough. Under the hood, Claude runs in a sandboxed virtual machine with a full file system and coding tools. Each agent skill is just a directory on this virtual machine, but the magic is in when and how Claude loads content from that directory. Here's the brilliant part, and stick with me because this is important. Skills use what Anthropic calls progressive disclosure. It works in three layers. First, at startup, Claude only gets the metadata, just the name and description of each skill. This is tiny, maybe a few dozen tokens per skill, so you can have dozens of skills available without bloating the context. When you ask Claude to do something, it checks if any skill might help. If it finds one, it literally runs a command to read the main skill file into the chat. But wait, it gets better. If those instructions reference other files, like additional guides or Python scripts, Claude only loads those if needed. And here's the kicker. When it runs code, only the output comes back to the model, not the entire script. Let me give you a concrete example to show why this matters. Imagine a PDF processing skill. The skill folder might contain detailed instructions, form-filling guidelines, and Python extraction scripts. If you just ask Claude to summarize this PDF, it loads the main instructions, skips the form-filling guide entirely, and runs just the extraction script. The entire PDF never enters the chat context. Only the extracted text does. This progressive loading strategy means Claude's context window only contains exactly what's needed for the job, while an arbitrarily large knowledge base sits ready on disk. 
Unused files consume zero tokens. It's like having an infinite manual where Claude only reads the chapters it needs. Real-world applications that are already working. Okay, so this all sounds impressive in theory, but what about practice? Let me share some examples that honestly blew my mind when I first saw them. Rakuten, you know, the massive e-commerce company, they've created a custom accounting skill that follows their exact procedures. Tasks that used to take their team a full day are now done in about an hour. That's not a typo. We're talking about eight hours of work compressed into 60 minutes. Their skill handles spreadsheets, generates reports, and follows their specific accounting workflows perfectly every time. Box is using skills to bridge Claude with their file storage system. But here's the cool part. Users can ask Claude to turn stored documents into branded PowerPoints or Excel files, and the skill automatically applies Box's brand guidelines. No more, make sure to use our company colors in every prompt. It just knows. Notion built skills that let Claude query and update Notion pages directly. So when someone asks, get action items from these meeting notes, Claude doesn't just tell you what they are. It can actually create tasks in your Notion workspace. Canva's planning something similar for design work, where you describe an image and Claude produces a Canva template following brand guidelines automatically. But wait until you see what individual developers are doing. One person created what they call a data journalism agent by combining skills for fetching census data, loading it into databases, and creating visualizations. You literally say, analyze these sales figures and make a slide deck. And Claude autonomously loads the data analysis skill, processes the numbers, loads the PowerPoint skill, creates the slides, and even applies brand guidelines if you have that skill too. It's like having an entire team in one AI assistant. The point is, any multi-step workflow that benefits from structured steps or external tools is a candidate for skills. Marketing teams are encoding brand guides, analysts are bundling SQL schemas with Python scripts, and since skills are just files, they're easy to version control and share with colleagues. How agent skills compare to what everyone else is doing. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but OpenAI has plugins, Google has agent builders, how is this different? This is actually where things get really interesting, because the approach Anthropic took is fundamentally different from everyone else. First, let's talk about the execution environment versus API calls. OpenAI's workflows rely on external API connections. Claude's skills run entirely inside Claude's own environment with direct file system access and native code execution. This might sound like a technical detail, but it changes everything. When a skill needs to process data, it runs actual Python scripts and gets exact results, not API responses that might fail or time out. Then there's the difference between loading and prompting. With ChatGPT's custom GPTs, you're often carefully crafting prompts or configuring UI settings. Skills, by contrast, package the prompt plus all the tooling in plain files. Claude only needs to know where a skill is relevant. It then pulls in all instructions automatically. No more handcrafting prompts for every interaction. Here's what really sets skills apart. Composability. While OpenAI's agent kit uses visual workflows and SDKs, skills are text-based and inherently composable. You can combine skill folders at will. In fact, the format is so generic that you could theoretically point other AI agents at the same skill directory and they'd work. These aren't Claude specific. They're model agnostic building blocks. The governance approach is different too. Anthropic designs skills with enterprise control in mind. Only users or admins in pro, team, or enterprise plans can add custom skills, and they emphasize installing only from trusted sources. Since skills are just files, companies can audit exactly what the agent will do. Compare that to the black box nature of some API integrations. And then there's the cost and architecture consideration. Claude skills are just a feature on top of existing Claude models. There's no new pricing tier. You just pay for the model usage. But perhaps most importantly, skills give developers a straightforward file-based toolkit. 
While ChatGPT plugins give you extra APIs and OpenAI Agent Kit gives you visual orchestration, skills give you something simpler and more powerful, a mini program that the AI follows on its own machine. What this means for the future of AI agent skills. Point to a clear trend that's honestly exciting to watch unfold. AI models are evolving from static Q and A systems into true agents that combine language with action. By allowing structured knowledge to be attached as needed, we're moving away from chat with AI toward AI that actually does things. But here's where it gets wild, and this is on Anthropic's actual roadmap. They envision agents that can build their own skills. Imagine Claude noticing you do the same task repeatedly, then autonomously writing the skill file for it and saving it for future use. This self-improvement loop could accelerate AI adoption exponentially. Organizations would gradually accumulate libraries of proven skills, like app stores, but for AI capabilities. Developers are already brainstorming what's possible, and some of these ideas are mind-blowing. One commentator pointed out that, with a few markdown files and scripts, you could assemble an entire specialized agent for any domain. We're talking about a combinatorial explosion of capabilities that might dwarf previous AI trends. Someone even joked that the skills revolution will make last year's hype about AI memory look pedestrian by comparison. Of course, with great power comes responsibility. Since skills can execute code, security is paramount. We'll likely see standards emerge, signed skill bundles, sandbox profiles, careful vetting processes. Companies will build private skill repositories and audit external additions carefully. But perhaps most fascinating is how skills blur the line between software and AI. Skills are essentially mini-applications that any agent with a tools interface can use. They're just Markdown plus YALM plus optional scripts. Intentionally simple, so they're easy to write, share, and iterate on. We're already seeing communities share skills on GitHub, each one unlocking new intelligence for Claude or potentially other LLMs getting started and what you need to know. So how do you actually start using this? If you're on Claude's Pro, Team, or Enterprise plan, you already have access to pre-built skills for common tasks like spreadsheet generation, presentation creation, and PDF processing. Just look for the skills option in your Claude interface and enable the ones you need. For developers and technical teams, the real power comes from building custom skills. Remember, a skill is just a folder with a skill.md file containing YALM front matter for the name and description, plus any supporting documents or scripts you need. You can version control them, share them with your team, and even adapt skills others have created. The security consideration is crucial, though. Only install skills from sources you trust, and if you're building them, audit any code carefully. Think of skills like browser extensions, powerful but requiring trust. Here's my prediction. Within the next year, we'll see entire marketplaces of skills emerge. Teams will share industry-specific skills. Consultants will package their expertise into skills. And every company will have their own private skill library encoding their unique workflows and knowledge. Anthropic's agent skills represent something bigger than just another AI feature. They're showing us a path toward AI assistants that actually work like smart colleagues rather than glorified chatbots. By modularizing expertise into simple files, Claude can now behave like a specialist in any domain you need, switching contexts and capabilities on the fly. For anyone working with AI, this is a development you can't afford to ignore. Whether you're automating workflows, building AI products, or just trying to be more productive, skills are changing the game. And the best part? We're just scratching the surface of what's possible. What kind of skill would revolutionize your workflow? Drop a comment below. I'm genuinely curious what domains people want to see skills for. And if you found this breakdown helpful, you know what to do. I'll be diving deep into building custom skills in my next video, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Until then, go experiment with agent skills.
Trust me, once you see what they can do, there's no going back to basic AI chat.